is a work of fiction named characters, places, and scenes in the complete product of the imagination. I do spare. Hi! Hi! I'm Jimmy. And I'm here with my young friends, uh, Child One and Child Two. How about that? And today we're going to make some slime. How about that? Is that sound like fun, kids? Yeah! Yeah, you bet your sweet bibby it does. You see, I've noticed that some of the most watched YouTube videos are of kids talking about and reviewing toys themselves. And you know who's watching this? <laughs> no, not perverts. Yes, that's right, other kids. Like, I remember when I was a kid, the last thing I wanted to see was another stupid kid, like this one, doing the same damn thing as me, which to me was, uh, stupid. I didn't want to be some kid on YouTube. I wanted to be Han Solo. Okay, I wanted to be Princess Leia. Mind your business, children. Double takes cause cancer. Did you know that? So, uh, today we're going to make some slime from the Nickelodeon company. Ew, gross, slime, right? Yeah, but it's okay. It's in a controlled environment, right? And we're not going to get any on our clothes or get any all stuck in the carpet. Or even worse, get it all over our flocked action figures. Moss Man wouldn't appreciate that very much, would he? We're going to have fun, but we're going to keep it clean, right? Right? Because I think that's important, keeping it clean. And later, I've got shrinky dinks in the oven. So that's pretty fun, too. So let's montage. You kids want a montage? Yeah! Let's montage! <laughs> Shut up. You pour 30? It said 30. Okay. Day when the kids would just pay gold You're an idiot! <laughs> You're freaking mm -hmm. stupid! So now we've made our slime, right? All in a fun little montage. Yeah, that's efficient storytelling, right? Just film a lot of shots and add music. Presto! Boom goes the dynamite. So now we're going to take a look uh, at the slime we made and uh, just have a little fun. Now, what did I say, kid one? Phones away. Screens come between us and God, right? My mom says I have to leave. What? Why? Because she said that I can't be on the internet with you because she wants me to go to a good college. What are you blathering about, kid? She says look at the internet. I can't! I'm in the middle of a video! Can't I just have this news delivered to me? Isn't there a truthful internet outlet out there that could inform me of this situation? What are you waiting for? Just wait, we're gonna cut to something. When's it gonna happen? Hi, it's Michelle again with another dose of your hashtag nerdbait. Before we start talking about some movie that hasn't even come out yet like it's the second coming, we need to address something. This guy. Another sexist man-child running his mouth on YouTube has come under fire. And it's our job as a community to call this out. Because we don't need voices like this in our online nerd discourse. We demand justice. We need inclusion and we expect a dignified response from everyone. And that's exactly what we're going to do and what I'm going to talk about right after my interview with Lego Batman. Oh no, not you again, woman. Who are you talking to? There's no one else in the room but us. It's the nerd bait lady, destroyer of fandoms and purveyor of loot crates. Look kids, she looks almost lifelike, doesn't she? For your information, we don't even do loot crates anymore. Yeah, what are you doing now, Dollar Shave Club? No. That's a yes. Listen, don't try and deflect here, Sheldon. We got you right where we want you this time. <laughs> For what? For your previous statements in a previous video that you said previously. Haven't you seen? It's all over the internet. Wow, those memes tell us everything without even having to talk about it or develop an opinion. Isn't the internet simply amazeballs? She's right, though. My mom says you're a mis uh, misogyn... Uh... 
I'm a massage therapist? Where would she get the idea that I'm a massage therapist? You're not a massage therapist. You're a misogynist. It's a totally different thing. Uh, misogynism is a form of massage therapy, butt face. There's like sponsored studies online on a variety of conditions. I read a pamphlet once while sitting in the DMV. Even butt face here knows that. I'm not a butt face! Why are you going to fool me, butt face? Listen, I used to be a massage therapist, okay? I have a background. I worked in numerous locations up and down the eastern sea- Wait! Why am I even debating this? You're not a massage therapist, you're a misogynist! I don't even know what that means. I just wikied it. It means hatred of contempt of or prejudice against women and girls. Nope. It means you discriminate. <laughs> not publicly. So you don't like the female Ghostbusters? That's gonna be a sticky point. Hey lady, isn't the head of your company a massage therapist? You know, the guy from Singled Out? No, that's Nerdist. We're Nerdbait. What's the difference? Satire? Yeah, that's my go-to answer, too. Hey, what are you doing? I'm Snapchatting, you misogynist. Hey, hey, hey! What kind of angle is that? Dutch it! Hey, give me that. What is this, doggy filter? Come here. We're going to do the bunny ears. So what exactly did I allegedly say in this video that's making the rounds because slow news day? I'm not going to say because there's kids present. Oh, that's convenient. Saves the person who wrote this from having to write that bit. I like that. Now I understand why these two plot lines have converged. It's actually pretty lazy. Yeah, but it appears clever, so that's all I really care about. Listen, be honest with me. You don't even know what I said or if I said it at all, do you? You just saw another site report it, so now you're reporting it. It's an endless cycle of likes and dislikes with you people. My mom just texted me and said I have to go because BuzzFeed said you're not woke. Oh, I'm woke, little boy. I'm hashtag woke all over the place. Did you like the new female Ghostbusters movie? Yes. Tell us, Jimmy, what do you think of the new Ghostbusters? Yes. I totally enjoyed Ghostbusters 2016. What was your favorite part? Because I liked Slimy. I liked all the dancing, you know, just all the dancing with Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy dancing, and then Thor was dancing too. It's just fun. Movies are just fun. And little girls dress like Ghostbusters now. How can you argue with that? I can. I don't like it. Quiet, kid. I work alone. I like the part where Ben always shows up and does nothing and the girls blow him up because he sucks. You look a lot older when posting than you do in your videos. Listen, you- Hey, don't swear in front of children. It's okay, lady. He said the F word at least six times today. Seven times. Do math better. Hey, wait. Look, our views are finally going up. It's finally happening. My views are going up. I'm just not sure if it's because there's kids here or if it's because I'm a massage therapist for some reason. How is that possible? We're making the video right now. How can people ought to be watching it? Because. Because why? Because it's meta humor, butt face, and your brain's not sophisticated enough to understand it or process it. You don't have to say butt face. You can curse and bleep it later. How's he going to do this if people are already watching the video? I don't understand this process. You're telling me apart. I'll say fudging and you can bleep me. No, I want to be bleeped. No, I want to be bleeped. Look, nobody here is getting bleeped but me. That's for damn sure. So, do you guys still need me here for this? Or... I can't believe it. I'm barely in this episode. It's just him talking to kids. It's like I'm being ignored. It's high school all over again. If only someone would understand. Anyway, let's cut to our new mini-sode and everyone's favorite man-child, Jeremy! Hi, I'm Jeremy, and today we're going to take a look at the long-awaited return of Nickelodeon Gak. It's not quite smud, and it's definitely not phloam. It's just... It's Gak. Oh my god, I'm so awkward. How can I even exist? What in the actual hell? They ripped me off! Come on, this guy is nothing like me! Do you hate when this happens with these things? There we go. What, the, what is this? Gak. 
Gak is super stretchy. It's durable, yet somehow fragile. I guess we're all a little bit like that. Deep inside. The Gak is like my heart. It runs all over and doesn't know when to stop. I guess we've all really learned something valuable today. Something applicable. To real life. To my life. To your life. To our lives. Okay, actually that's pretty accurate. Hi Jeremy. This is future Jeremy. When are you gonna get a damn bed, you dumbass? Wanna get some canes? Oh, you've got to be f***ing kidding me. Yes, he leaked it! Yeah, I know, but just go with it, okay? Fine. I'll do it. But I'll probably hate myself in the morning. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have kept a closer eye on those shrinky dinks. Yeah, you think? So, uh, what are you guys doing out here? There's a fire. Where were you? Uh, I was inside. You're inside? The place is on fire. Yeah, I was binge watching Glow. You know, that kind of felt more important, you know? So now there's two of you. Big whoop, I can do that effect on my iPhone. Lame! It's not even convincing anyways. Why don't you go back inside? And burn alive? Yeah, that's something to look forward to, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna go in and start Jessica Jones. Bye, kids. What's gonna happen next? Are you gonna take us home or something? And whatever happened to BB-8, buttface, are you ever gonna tie up that storyline? This show sucks. I should've just let you both burn. Internet Troll turns out to be a hero, coming right at you in the next Hashtag Nerd Bait. Cut. That was good, Michelle. Take a break. So, is it true you used to be a massage therapist? Really? You get one line and that's how you're going to read it?